BACnet is the global standard for interoperable building automation solutions, and it works best when all products in a system are correctly implemented. Ensuring products are correctly implemented is the responsibility of product developers. The mission of the BACnet Testing Laboratories, or BTL, is to validate that it is done correctly. To do that, BTL develops and maintains the BTL test packages, an industry standard suite of tests and a set of testing policies. After successfully completing the independent testing process in accordance with the BTL test package, manufacturers can apply for certification issued by BTL. Once a product is BTL certified, it has the right to use the BTL mark and be included in the online BTL listing database. The BACnet specification is large and complex. Even the best development teams can misinterpret some detail of the protocol or introduce a subtle implementation error. The rigorous testing process is a powerful methodology for ensuring such errors are found and eliminated before a product reaches the market. Resolving interoperability problems in a multi-vendor environment during BACnet system integration can be expensive and potentially discouraging for customers. In the event of an interoperability problem between a product with a BTL certification and one without it, a common assumption is the product without. The BTL certification is at fault. Whether it is or not, the burden of finding and resolving the problem tends to weigh most heavily on the manufacturer that has not demonstrated compliance through the BTL certification program. BTL certified products reduce the risk of BACnet implementation errors, causing interoperability problems and minimizes the associated costs. BTL certification and the BTL mark provides buyers with assurance that a product has passed the industry standard BACnet conformance tests conducted by a recognized independent testing organization. This increases buyer confidence in both the product and its manufacturer, which is especially important when a manufacturer is seeking new business. To begin the pre-testing process, the manufacturer develops a BACnet stack adhering to BACnet standard or purchases a BACnet stack from a stack developer. BTL testing is compliance-based, not developmental. Manufacturers are strongly encouraged to conduct their own pre-testing prior to the product entering BTL testing. This will save time and money by reducing the number of hours the product is in the testing lab. Manufacturers can use any of the pre-testing tools found at btl.org slash pre-testing tools. The manufacturer accurately completes the BTL checklist with BACnet functionality of the product. Product then gets sent to one of the four independent recognized BACnet testing organizations, RBTO. The RBTO validates the BTL checklist, determines the required tests, and provides an estimated range for testing time and cost. The RBTO will provide a potential BTL testing schedule and identify any documentation needed for next steps. The manufacturer provides documentation and implementation under test for BTL testing. The product is now ready for BTL testing. Once the manufacturer has provided the IUT for testing, the documents in the BTL checklist, EPICS, and the IUT special test instructions, the RBTO validates the BTL checklist against the IUT and prepares the test environment. The RBTO then applies the selected test to IUT. If the test does not pass, the manufacturer is notified to update their firmware to correct their failed test. If the test does pass, the RBTO prepares the final test report and a link for the BTL certification application. 
The product is now ready for the BTL certification process. To apply for certification, manufacturers will need to complete the application, final test report and picks, and submit to the BTL. BTL reviews the application and documentation to determine if attestation or other documentation are required. The manufacturer supplies additional documentation including, but not limited to, the attestation, agreement, and model list. After it is determined the documentation is complete and eligible for BTL certification, the BTL transfers the request to the independent BTL certifier for processing. The certifier processes and creates the BTL listing and certificate and transfers the completed BTL certification to BACnet Testing Laboratories. BACnet Testing Laboratories publishes the certification on BTL.org and send social media announcements. The manufacturer can then download the BTL listing and BTL certification from BTL.org and is now eligible to use the BTL mark for that product.